Yamaoka san, before we start, I just wanted to tell you that I'm a huge fan of your work. Your concert in Moscow with Mary Elizabeth McGlynn was amazing. And um, I also have very few friends because I like to listen to the Silent Hill soundtracks in my car, even the creepy ones. Since you stopped working uh, on the Silent Hill series, uh, the fans have been hungry for new content. And World of Tanks is kind of unexpected, really. It's not a horror game. It's not. It's got no demons in it like Shadows of the Damned. How did that happen? It's not about what kind of genre the game belongs to. Of course, Silent Hill is a horror game and World of Tanks is very different. But for me, the role I play in the game's development is to provide the best musical experience for the gamer. I'm responsible for the soundtracks and that's what's important, really. So now they have you working on this track that they describe as epic. I know you can do all kinds of music, from the uh, beautiful theme of Laura to the heavy stuff like Angel's Thanatus, but epic is not something I usually associate with your music. You're like the opposite of Sabaton from my point of view. Uh, and you decided to collaborate with the team in Minsk. Uh, tell us more about it. How did they contribute to your music? I'm not gonna lie, I'll tell you how I felt. About a month ago I went to the Minsk office to make the track and to interact with the team and I really felt that the skill level of those guys was pretty amazing. The team was fantastic. Some of those guys have had a lot of experience as sound engineers, they've worked with big names like The Prodigy. And I really like audio tech geeks, so I actually learned a lot of stuff from them as well, the technology behind the audio. The Minsk team is one of the best I've ever worked with. Well, there is one more reason World of Tanks is different from the projects you'd worked on in the past. It's an online game. Uh, well, they're adding some single-player missions now, but still, the core part of the gameplay is online. Um, does such a game have enough uh, character or charisma or um, personality, if I may, to get you inspired? I'm really happy to have had an opportunity to create music for an online game. I've been waiting for such an opportunity for a long time. And before World of Tanks, I worked on a project called Let It Die that featured online elements. I contributed to that game as sound director at Grasshopper Manufacture. But World of Tanks is a different type of game. It's a PC game and I'm a PC gamer, so I was really interested in this project. Do you play World of Tanks yourself? I have the image of not being a big gamer. People think I'm more into music, but in fact I do love games. And I'm also trying to refrain myself from playing too much, because I have a very addictive personality. Originally I'm a PC gamer who prefers RTS titles such as Age of Empires, and I play World of Tanks as well. I started with the PC version, then stopped playing, and recently started again on the console because I was working on Let It Die for PS4. I use Japanese tanks, I know they're not very good, but I want to support my country as a nation. Well, in one of your previous interviews, you said that Silent Hill is the work you're most proud of. Uh, but it's only because the fans love it. Um, is it only worth working on a project that is successful and gets a lot of love? For me, it's not really about what is the most successful product, but it's about what kind of work is more meaningful. I'm happy to contribute to the success of the game and to the happiness of the players that will be interacting in the game with my music. And because I'm also a player, I have a feeling that I'm really a part of the team and helping to bring World of Tanks to a new level. So it's not about how popular the product is. Of course, I love Silent Hill, there is a big fan base, and World of Tanks has a huge fan base as well, but making sure that the players enjoy the games they play is my goal. I don't want to be too concerned about the popularity of the product. I want to focus on bringing good musical experience for the players. Does hearing your own songs in the game make you proud? Of course it makes me proud when I can hear my own song in the game and also get the feedback from the people who are playing and enjoying it. I want to provide quality audio for the gamers and if by playing I can confirm that the soundtrack blends well with the game setting, it makes me very happy. Yamaoka-san, thank you so much for this interview. We hope to hear more and more songs from you. Thank you. Thank you.